Welcome to Crazy Now's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dine. I might start up the timer. Boom. TNT. Yo. I know you are not a big fan of like dad jokes and dumb jokes and whatever. Yeah. But do you have like a stupid joke that like that you know that like still kind of like makes you chuckle even though like it's just dumb as hell? I mean, I can't really name anything off the top of my head. You, you kind of put me on the spot. Yeah, we're just wondering, I just wonder if you just happen to know of one. I, I have one. I call it my favorite dumb joke. Okay. And uh, I'll tell it, and then it, we can just take this wherever it goes from okay. here. But oh, it enough. goes, ham sandwich walks into a bar and asks the bartender, hey, do you serve food here? And the bartender says, no. So the ham sandwich leaves. <laughs> That's it, dude. <laughs> Took me a minute. Right. It's because it's like it's a smart dumb joke. You're like, yeah. what the hell's Ah, uh, okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah. and I, I look, I like that cerebral humor because yeah. it did get a chuckle out of me. Yeah. If it was just like you can't I guess the <laughs> <laughs> It's not that I, I don't like like the dumb jokes like that, I guess. Um I don't know. I don't know. But I know you, you don't pull them out. Like you're I, not I try not to. <laughs> I cringe because of the cringiness or yeah, what? because if I cringe in, internally while delivering the joke, then I feel like, you know, I don't know. I don't know if it's that uh, that I have like a standard of comedy or something like where I, I don't know if I have like I don't, I don't I would never consider us comedians. No, no. We're just we're just two dumb freaking guys. <laughs> yeah, you know? right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, we, we can do improv and do some funny stuff. But exactly. Like, but like, I wouldn't say yeah, I'm not a comedian. Exactly. Um, I think it, we're both fairly quick witted. We can come up with like witty quips on the fly yeah. Yeah. but like yeah like if i tried to sit down and write jokes i don't think i'd be nearly as effective i think i don't know like who who are some of the comedians that you like when you grew, when growing up uh when i was a kid man i used to listen to uh, i got really into that adam sandler first sketch tape the they're all gonna <laughs> laugh at you that one okay. a- and i used to also listen to uh wow. dennis leary's no cure for cancer okay on okay. tape but okay. when i was real little I used to watch I used to watch comedy all stand up comedy all the time. Yeah, because I remember uh, watching Comedy Central back in the day. I, I've watched the Dana Carvey. <laughs> she wants some broccoli. <laughs> she brought it home. She chopped a broccoli. I've watched that a thousand times. I remember the Margaret Cho. Yeah, Margaret Cho I used to watch because <laughs> she was new back then. Yeah. Why do we have this book, Modan? Am I allowed there to do was that? a uh, there was an HBO special on when I was a kid that I recorded. It was opening night at Rodney's place. It was a Rodney Dangerfield hosted okay. thing, and it had uh, Tim Allen before mm. Home Improvement. No way. Like back in the day, who else was on there? Uh, they had some sketches with Sam Kinison on there, but he wasn't he wasn't mm. on there as a comedian. Wow. He was like a sketch of something. Uh, it had uh, Jeff Foxworthy before he became like famous for the You Might Be a Redneck. Was he still doing the? Like a uh, boot cut comedy, he was doing. He was doing. You might be a redneck jokes, but before oh, okay. he became famous, okay. And there was the other comedians. There was like David Slees, the punk magician, Thea Vidal. Nobody that got really. Uh, Dave Attell. Fa- yeah, Dave Attell wasn't on that show, but like and me and, and me and one of my buddies would just like we memorized like it all. We would watch it over and over and okay. over again. And we would like tell the jokes and like think we were funny and we weren't because we were like eight and we didn't understand <laughs> them, you know? See, and I don't know if I was even that in depth in the comedy. I mean, I watched what was ever was on TV. I did listen to a lot of Chris Rock, Bigger and Blacker. Yeah, I love, yeah, I used could, to watch couldn't that. get around too. that, dude. It was super popular. Dave Chappelle's first few uh, yeah, the, yeah, the one with the the the, the uh, drug dealing baby. He's like, baby, get off the corner. <laughs> <laughs> See, and I and that that's even different for me in the fact, like uh, in my house, uh, Eddie Murphy raw. Oh yeah, I yeah, saw that, was, that a bunch of that. I had that on VHS, and that was yeah, that was a different time. That was a different time. Eddie Murphy raw and the second one that he did, both of those were delirious. Stay, delirious. Both yeah. of those were in my household. Yeah, and Richard Pryor was pretty pretty raw too. Yeah, back in I don't the know day. if I really got into it. I feel like Richard was a little old for me. Yeah, it was a little that, before my time yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think if there's any other comedy specials I and used then, to like watch. Like the Sinbad ones. Oh God. Yeah, Joe. I I listened to a lot of black people stuff <laughs> back then. I remember. I mean, I mean that's okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that it's not. I just, just came to the conclusion myself here on the spot. Wow. Yeah, dude. I used to uh, yeah, I used to watch all sorts of – any sort of comedy that I could. Do you, do you still follow any of them today? I do not. I, like, got yeah. out of watching stand-up a while ago, and I don't know why. I don't watch so much stand-up, but I do follow some comedians. Uh, this is pretty uh, – <laughs> it's pretty stereotypical, but I do like Gary Owen. 
Um, I, I listened to some uh, Bert Kreischer. He's a comedian that performs with no shirt on. He's okay. Like, he's like the heavy set dude that comes out with no shirt. Okay. He's a real one. Um, and I like uh, who's the uh, Irish guy with red hair? Bill Burr. Bill Burr. <laughs> Bill Burr. I like Bill Burr too. He's an he's an asshole, but oh, I like he, him. But it's like he's, he's a dick. He's just the like he's that no filter tell it how it is kind of like comedian. He he's he just is. like he is. I yeah. like, but you know, like he says that he can't get away, but he's still getting away with it. Oh yeah, absolutely. So we should get into that. Just <laughs> just, just being into, complete d bags. We should get into comedians saying that they can't get away with stuff anymore. I'm tired of hearing that crap come out of their mouth, man. I'm so. I mean, tired of look what happened to Chris Rock, dude. He got he can't get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> we can't even do a video on it because of the, the amount of leeway we have over these videos. We got such a backlog, we can't even do a, a real video. Oh on that. yeah, it's all right, man. But you know, it's still relevant. People still joking about it. Yeah, we can make we can make people will be joking about that for a long time. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it'll be. Uh... Look, I'm I'm just saying, it's like comedians aren't getting canceled for something that they say at a show. Oh no, Dave Chappelle's going off about trans people. He's fine. I mean, he's one of the few. <laughs> That could probably get that off. Yeah, yeah, that's very, that's very I mean, true. honestly, look, if you say something people don't like, less people are going to like you. The The whole idea I'm trying to say is, like, as a comedian, you make jokes. If people like your jokes, you get people to like you more, and they give you more of their money. Right. If you make a joke that people don't like, less people are going to like you and thus take away from your money. It is not cancel freaking culture man this well, no, is, it is the, the idea of make jokes that are that more people are going to like and not jokes that you think you and your comedian friends like because you have you you're dead inside well the problem is too that it isn't so much even that in every aspect because sometimes it's the people who hate you or the people that watch you because they want to see what you're going to say next so they can get mad again it was like that was a classic Howard yeah, Stern thing. Yeah, that's, People that's listen true. to his radio show. Half of them like him. The other half hate him and just want to see what he's going to say next yeah. so they can hate him more. Like yeah. it's. It's, and people are saying, like, like Howard could never get that show off today. And I have to kind of agree. It's like, I feel like people, uh, obviously with the internet, people would be like, yo, you can't be doing this stuff I, on the radio. I think having Being Robin able, on the show helped him tremendously. Having yeah. having a woman on the show that, like, put up with it and, and added in on yeah. that kind of stuff. Uh, if like, it would have just been all dudes being complete crazy misogynists like they were, yeah. he probably wouldn't have had the ability to take off. Like, Yeah, but look, you ain't showing up in blackface and just screaming no, the N-word anymore. No, no, All right, that's not no, happening. No. We, we, we ain't going that far. No. So, look. Fart man? I mean, that that's low-key, but he was on some he was <laughs> Low-brow fart man. Hey, look, I don't, I don't F with Howard Stern for obvious reasons. Well, right, <laughs> yeah. I'm keep it a buck, but... uh. Uh, yeah, yeah. He, he can't get that off with me. <laughs> no, so, no, man. So, uh, cancel culture for the betterment? Yeah. Yeah, there. dude. Well, it's here. here's the thing. It's like, it's, it's one thing if you're just saying stuff that people don't. I think the difference in some of the things is some of it people don't like what you're saying because it's true. It's not, it's not racist. It's not ignorant. It's just true, and it's not what people want to hear. And there's a difference if you're saying stuff to rile up people because of, like, ignorant reasons like because of they're a woman or they're gay or they're black or they're whatever give me an example of something that a person would say that they that a person would like that that it's true uh God, talk about putting somebody on the spot <laughs> <laughs> i felt just, like you had an example in no your head when i you just made the but like you people you know like the, the p statement people say it's funny because it's true like you know what i mean like people laugh because it's true not because it's funny you know, you, you say something about yourself or something or whatever, right. but if you're but if you're pigeonholing a culture or a type of people, that's that's where the line is drawn. You know what I mean? It's like so you don't want to say like a stereotypical thing that oh yeah it may be true or whatever, but like it's if you talk about like people in general or p the public or like whatever, mm -hmm. that's a different thing than if you're going after like. People like you make fun, make fun of like gay dudes and put them in a certain light. People are like, well, it was kind of true. You're like, yeah, but you're, yeah, but you're, let, let, you're gay, make, let you're, gay people make that joke. We're, exactly. <laughs> let exactly. a gay person make that joke because obviously. Right. But if you're talking just about like the human condition in general, you know, like, oh, ha ha, yeah. it is funny. I do hate my mother in law, yeah. you know, or whatever. And look, man, I'm 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 the ultra progressive, and I don't even care. I don't even care. You can label me whatever you want, but I I laugh at, <laughs> at jokes that are, are racy or a little bit off. I don't care. 
You know, and and I think that comedians can still get those jokes off. Oh, if yeah. They, if they do it properly. Absolutely. If and that, they do and, it And right. that's the subjective line is so. But anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. DNT. Uh, we are out.